in high school in Hollywood. Christina. Yeah, at least two of those overdoses are from here, from the high school. Both 15-year-old girls, one of them found dead in the bathroom floor in the school. This after supposedly buying drugs from a park a couple of blocks away where young people are telling us it's an ongoing problem. Listen. This park is always known for like crack addicts to pull up out here and then just bad influences, I guess. Stuff like that is always going on. They know about it, but they just act like they, they never knew about it. A damning statement from a young man at Lexington Park closed up today as LAPD investigators look into the overdoses of students buying drugs here. Over the past three weeks alone, there have been six individuals who attend neighborhood schools, were at that park for the purpose of making a connection with an individual who would provide them drugs. The drug of choice appears to be uh, pills, Percocet, for example, laced with fentanyl. One 15-year-old Bernstein High School student found dead last night in the school's bathroom. Police were alerted after a man went to the school looking for his stepdaughter who had not returned home and found her semi-conscious near a field where sports events were going on. She was able to tell him that one of her friends was in the girl's bathroom, that both bought what they thought was the painkiller Percocet at the park and gotten sick when they shared one pill. Paramedics were not able to revive the girl in the bathroom. Her death appears to be drug related. More than likely, through the ingestion of pills possibly laced with fentanyl. Parents picking up their kids at school today, not wanting to talk on camera. LAUSD's superintendent confirming another victim from Park Drugs, a 17 year old from Hollywood High who is not connected to the Bernstein High girls, also overdosed on pills yesterday. LAPD West Homicide getting help from the DEA. But here's what keeps me awake at night. It's these pills. Teenagers are buying these pills thinking that they're real and they're, it's having really adverse consequences here in L.A. County to kind of bring it home. I see the reports from the coroner's office and I see it's ages 14 to like 25 and then, you know, even 34, 35. That's where the damage is coming in our community from fentanyl. And he is saying that 100% of the street drugs they test have fentanyl in them. And he's challenging social media influencers to put out the word on that to these kids who are not listening to the outreach or the news stories. Uh, the identity of uh, this young woman who died has not been released. Neither has the status of the kids who are being treated for overdoses. We will keep you updated. In Hollywood, I'm Christina Gonzalez.